Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and it's winter time. But I'm not at my door, I'm at a friend's door. And this is all about how fascinating nature is and how you can find amazing things right outside your door. My friend called me on the phone yesterday and said, Hey Frank, I found some mushrooms growing in my backyard and they're growing right now. And it's winter. Isn't that kind of strange? And I said, yeah, that is pretty strange. I think I know what it might be. So I came out and checked it out and it's oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are a choice edible for people who forage mushrooms. And it has an amazing thing that it's a predator. It's a carnivore. So hang on and I'll be right back after my intro with oyster mushrooms and tell you this amazing story. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's to make this invasive. It's like dog. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh produce seed pollen and it's there's amazing nature literally right outside your door and right here in the grass growing on a rotten root and you can see there was a tree here and it's dead now and so this root is starting to decay and it's the perfect habitat for these oyster mushrooms and these are big ones. This is a mature oyster mushroom. They're highly desired by people who like to forage mushrooms. And they're a fun mushroom for mushroom hunters because you can find them in the winter. They have a in the winter. They have a remarkable ability to continue to grow in the winter go through repeated freeze and thaw cycles. And when they thaw out, they grow. And when they're frozen, they're dormant, but they're able to tolerate that and continue to grow. Now, how do I know that this is actually a oyster mushroom and not one of the other shelf fungi? A lot of the shelf fungi that grow off the sides of trees are polypores. And if this is a oyster mushroom, it should have gills underneath. And so I need to pull back a piece of this and take a look and you can see that it in fact does have gills and it's not polypores polypores have little holes so it has gills and also notice the forks in the gills at the top that's a sure thing to identify an oyster an oyster mushroom i'm going to try to look underneath here and can you see how these gills Go all the way to the base, right where it's growing out of the piece of wood. There's no real stipe or stem on here. So that's another sure sign that this is, in fact, an oyster mushroom. Another way that people identify mushrooms or confirm their identities is by doing a spore print. And a spore print of this mushroom, when the mushroom is placed on a dark background with the gills down, the spore print will be a white or perhaps even a lilac color. So that's another confirmation for oyster mushroom. Note on this older oyster mushroom, which is past its prime in terms of eating, but advancing very well to produce spores and reproduce, it has a very brown tinge that goes to the outside. When these are younger, they're very, very white. And the the if you slice it open, you'll find they are white inside as well. So here you can see that they're white inside. So here's the really cool part of this story, the story of oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are carnivores. They're predators. And you gotta be thinking, what, a mushroom, a carnivore? Now you know that most mushrooms are organisms of decay. They're saprophytes. They eat decaying things and gain their nutrition from them. But these are also carnivores. They captured nematode worms that live in the soil. Nematodes are tiny worm-like organisms that are pretty much everywhere, ubiquitous in soils and decaying things. And the hypha, which are the hair-like extensions of the mushroom body, have adhesives on them 
that capture the nematodes. The nematodes get stuck to the fungal hypha. Other predatory mushrooms also will do like a lasso that tightens around the nematode worm's body and captures it so it can't move. In addition to these adhesives that the oyster mushroom releases on its hypha, that glue the nematode to the hypha, they may also paralyze them. There may be some chemicals that are released that paralyze it. In either case, then a special kind of hypha starts to grow once the nematode has been captured and it enters the nematode sometimes through its mouth and starts to branch out inside the paralyzed nematode. These special hypha then release enzymes and essentially digest the nematode from the inside out. Isn't that amazing? Nature's so amazing. Well now, why would a mushroom need to be a predator? Why does it need to catch worms? Why does it need to be carnivorous? Well, mushrooms feed on decaying wood and decaying wood is made up of cellulose. And cellulose is a molecule just like starch. When living organisms digest cellulose or starch, they break it down into its component sugars. So essentially, this mushroom has a carbohydrate-rich diet, but it needs other nutrition too. It needs nitrogen, and all living organisms need a source of nitrogen to make proteins and body parts and enzymes. So where does it get its nitrogen? From the nematode worms. From capturing and digesting nematode worms, it gets the nitrogen it needs to live. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. <laughs> There's so much amazing nature right outside your door. And this was a really, really special story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it. <laughs> Nature is just so amazing. If you like what I do, please subscribe and give me a like. And I'd love it if you would leave me comments. I love interacting with my viewers. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.